Coming to two to go here, Chip. Uh, what do you see? It looks like William Byron out front. We've got uh, the number two car, Austin Sendrick. He won this race two years ago in second. Man, I tell you what, discount tire. We love discount tire. I was there just a few days ago. And look at that. We got Chili's in third. I'm rooting for the Chili's car today. That would be awesome. Uh, Chip, are you sure you haven't been paid by any of these sponsors? I cannot confirm or deny anything. Uh, so here we go, coming around final lap. What's going to happen? Uh, oh, we got the yard markers out there. Got to remind folks that uh, we also have football on this network. Uh, oh, three wide for the lead. Oh, no, and they're wrecking. Lost, oh, no, 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 no. And who was ahead? It looks like it's going to be William Byron. Well, that just ain't fair. Say William wrecked the whole field earlier. Hey, somebody got to go punch him in the face. That's just that's just not right right there. Heck, I'll go do it. Uh, Chip, I, I would not uh, advise you do that if you want to be back with his network next week. Hey, you're not my lawyer, Bill. Uh, I, just remember that. Uh, sure, sure thing, Chip. Um, but anyway, Chip uh, may or may not be next week, but uh, Fork on the Road, NASCAR Alternate History, will be back next week with a new episode uh, following the 2001 Coca-Cola 600 and beyond.